Hey, Karina, you need to answer my question. Is it true that you're coming to my house for the housewarming party? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm planning to go with the family. What's up? Have things changed? Oh, really? Okay. I, I don't mind that you come to the get-together, but can you please just dress appropriately for the party? Uh, that would be great. Huh? What do you mean, dress appropriately? Appropriately, is there something wrong with the way I dress normally? Well, you're smart. You understand the situation, right? We live in a very luxurious house now. I get it. You want to feel that exhilarating feeling when you walk into the place. You know, originally it wasn't going to be a place for your family to enter. Oh, Joan, are you kidding me with this? Are we really going to have this conversation again? Because I need to explain things properly so that you understand. Do you have any idea what will happen if you don't keep quiet? <laughs> well, I don't plan on doing anything in the house. All I want to do is celebrate with Tyson. That's it. You know, because he was the one that built the house, okay? Excuse me, Tyson's so busy every day as a doctor, and you do know that as his wife, I'm busy trying to support his daily life, right? You could say that more than half of the house was built by yours truly. He couldn't do it without my help. At your place, you may not have the financial means to do all of these amazing things as both of your parents have to work to get by. There's also those types of couples, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if you all do something to our beautiful house. Uh, okay, Joan. Uh, whatever you say, then. Well, I'm already exhausted from having this conversation. Uh, I don't know if I want to celebrate anymore. But Tyson invited us to come, and I don't know if I can just turn him down when he's worked so hard. You do know that you were only invited as a social gesture, right? So you wouldn't feel left out. I can't believe how serious you're being. It's annoying. Really? Just a social gesture, huh? I don't really think it's like that. We're his family, so of course that's why he invited us to go. Well, since you're all going to come to the housewarming, at least be aware of what I was talking about when you do make it over here, all right? I don't want my brand new mansion getting all dirty and covered in your disgusting germs. We're not going to make a mess. We're adults who know how to clean up after themselves. I'll just come by for a little bit, say hello to some people, and leave right after that. Oh, really? That's your plan? Well, I'm also getting tired of dealing with you and the family, so please do go home early. You'll also need to do some showering and deodorizing of yourselves before you enter the house, okay? Are you kidding me with this? We don't smell, alright? So stop hassling me so much about this. Hey, Karina. You're coming to the celebration at our house today, aren't you? I'm sorry to bother you with this, but... Could you bring a suit over for me? I think the suit I was using to get a job is still at the house, right? Oh, you're wanting one of your suits? I'm sorry, we've already left the house. Oh, really? If only I had messaged you sooner. This might be a problem, but you're all dressed up properly and everything, right? Well, I'm wearing something that's nice, but I didn't mean to look shabby, if that's what you mean. This isn't what Joan instructed you to say to me, is it? Oh, um, yeah. She told me to tell you that. I don't know. She just cares about random things like that. It's only a housewarming, but yeah. It's getting kind of annoying. And I can't get over how she's been acting lately towards other people. She also said to please behave yourself somehow. Well, I wouldn't say it's at the level of being annoying, but I don't really want to have much to do with her if she's going to continue acting like this towards me. I, I hate her. Hey, come on now. She's still my wife. 
You can't just turn around and hate her because of how picky she is. That's a bit extreme, Karina. She's a beautiful lady as well. She just wants things to be perfect. You need to stop hating on her, alright? I don't get why you'd say that to me, Tyson. Don't you care that she's talking down to me? She shouldn't be saying rude things to me. All you have to do is listen to what she says. We hardly get together anyways, so it shouldn't be a big deal. You know that she can be tough on people, especially those that she doesn't approve of, or hasn't spent a lot of time with. So that's it. I've been working hard, and this housewarming means a lot to me. So could you just be nice and try to get along? Do you really think that I can be friends with someone who insults me all the time? This is no joke, Tyson. She does that. Also, I think we're beyond the point of trying to even be friends anyway. It would be too difficult to try and make amends now. Okay, I get it. It's fine. If you can't get along, just at least try and be adults and not make it so obvious that you're not friendly towards each other. So, are you all on your way here? Or are you at a rest stop taking a break right now? No, Dad is driving today, so I'm sitting here in the passenger seat messaging you. We'll be arriving soon, though. Wait, what? Dad is driving? Is Dad coming to the housewarming as well? Of course he is. You're his son, so of course he's going to show up. You did invite all of us to this party, didn't you? Oh, I had no idea, to be honest. I thought it was just going to be you and Mom coming to the house. I thought that Dad would be in a board meeting today. Oh, I see what you mean. I get that you're scared of Dad, so I suppose you purposefully threw this party on a day that only Mom and I could make it. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Dad canceled his plans today so that he could come with us. But he never comes to anything. And I just don't like it when he comes to anything I organized. I don't get how this happened. Actually, I'm not really scared of Dad or anything. It's just that he's my boss at the hospital as well. So I don't want to have to see him on my days off as well. Oh. Okay, I understand. No matter what, Dad was going to be with you and at some point or another, but I guess be prepared for when he gets there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just don't want to deal with him outside of work. Whatever you all do, just be on your best behavior, alright? Hey, when are we not on our best behavior, Tyson? Everything will be fine, I promise you that. Hey, I just saw you at my window. What on earth are you wearing? Obviously cheap clothes, and you're driving that cheap-looking car. I'd be in so much trouble if I pulled up in that crappy car and run down clothes to enter a fancy-looking house. Okay, whatever you say, Joan. Would you open the gate for us, please, so that we can come in? We came all the way here, so don't make us wait outside until you let us in. Oh, I am so sorry, Karina, but I really can't let you enter the property. I mean, look at this place, okay? You know that you are not in suitable attire to enter, right? No, we're not. We look absolutely fine, so stop judging us on what we own. You really need to stop annoying me and my family. Wow, I really didn't know that you had such a way with words. It's making me so scared of you. Not. <laughs> you know, I really can't afford to let more people in since it's already so crowded. <laughs> Surely you understand that. Look, I need to speak to Tyson. What is he doing? Did you do something to him? No matter how many times I call, he doesn't pick up. Oh, well at the moment, Tyson's cleaning the bathroom, so he can't answer any phone calls or text messages right now. Wait, what? 
Why the heck is he cleaning the bathroom? Doesn't he know what's happening right now? I just told him that we were almost at his place, so I don't get why he would be cleaning. I actually told Tyson that you and your parents would be delayed in arriving. <laughs> Wait, what? Why would you say that to him when we were basically outside your house? Because Tyson is too kind, and I knew that he'd let all of you into the house. I didn't want that to happen. Please keep in mind that I have to be strong and keep him out of the way so that I don't have to let you inside. Then, no matter how we looked when we got to the front door, you were just going to drive us away somehow, weren't you? Now that I think about it... Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was actually surprised to see that your appearance was worse than I expected. Surely you're able to understand these complicated circumstances, right? Are you for real, Joan? What complicated circumstances? All you're doing is being rude. Be honest with me. Are you after Tyson's money? He's such a rich man who earns a considerable amount of money as a doctor. I'm sure you're trying to wheedle your way into his life and get some extra cash on him, aren't you? Why would you assume these things about my family? Do you really think we'd take his money? Are you insane? We're his family. It's because you're living a life that's dependent on his job, right? Your family is just a poor and unemployed waste of space in society and rely on Tyson's allowance. What on earth are you talking about? What is this about us needing his allowance? Yeah, yeah, I already know everything, Karina. I tried to prevent it all from happening, but your family are only here for his money because you can't survive without my husband. If you want to get into a house, there's an entry fee to get inside. You're going to have to pay at least $1,000 per person, okay? This is insane. I can't believe what you're saying. I've had enough of this. We're just going to go home then. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't be able to pay for it, so you've got no other choice. It's such a huge amount to pay for such a poor family. Well, I guess I'll just let Tyson know that you all changed your minds about coming inside and that you went home. Please turn and go right back home, please. <laughs> I've got other things to plan for this housewarming. I can't believe this is happening. You're going to regret doing this to my family, Joan. Be careful what you say next. Oh, I'm so scared. I wonder what's going to happen next. <laughs> I can't wait for you to actually get back at me. I guess I'll be waiting for a while then. <laughs> Hey, Karina, is everything okay? I heard that you went home because you guys weren't feeling well. What's going on? Oh, is that so? Is that what your lovely wife told you? That's not exactly why we're not at your house, Tyson. Wait, what do you mean by that? What's happened? So, you aren't actually sick? Joan wouldn't open the gate for us because our car and clothes weren't up to her standard. We look poor is basically what she said. She doesn't want poor families to ruin the grounds that your house sits on. We're not dirty people, Tyson. You're kidding me. She actually told you this? She wouldn't turn around and say something like that. After all, it's my family she's talking to. She wouldn't do that. Tyson, from her perspective, we're parasites that are living off an allowance you give us. I guess that's why she thinks it's okay for her to treat us like she does. She thinks she can get away with this disgusting behavior. But her accusations are so strange. We've not received a penny from you, so I don't know where she got that idea from. 
And the strangest thing is Joan hasn't even found out that our father is the director of the hospital that you work at. If she knew about this, I don't think she'd be behaving like this towards us. Ah, uh, no, I suppose she doesn't know. Look, I'll explain all of this properly to her later. But please, can you all just get back here right now? I'm begging on my knees here. I'm sorry, but we can't come back because Dad is very dizzy and he doesn't want to drive. I don't think we can go back to your house. What? He's feeling frustrated? But that's not good. What am I going to do now? I'll call a taxi and get there as quickly as I can. Please, just let me apologize for what's going on. I can't believe this is happening right now. Well, what if we don't want that to happen? Look, we've got no intention of receiving an apology right now. We've had enough of this nonsense. Please, I'm begging you. I'll be there right away. Just let me say what I want to say, okay? Hey, you! I can't believe that you'd do something so terrible to us. Why did you turn my family away from the house? Ugh, this again, really? Well, I guess you were just being so kind about letting your family come over, so they thought they had the audacity to enter my house, okay? You know that I can't allow a parasitic family such as yours to be spoiled by you forever, alright? If it wasn't for us well-known and wealthy people, those poor beings would never survive. I'm so over your attitude. Cut it out! They've done nothing but be nice to you, Joan. Also, my family's not poor. Wait, what? What do you mean you're not poor? You said to me that they didn't have a lot of money, so I just assumed they lived off rags and rations. You're the one that's been supporting this family the entire time that I've known you. What on earth are you talking about? I might have said that, but that's not the truth. What do you mean it's not the truth? You've got no reason to lie to me. If you're lying, then you need to speak up. Would you just shut up for a second? Whatever has happened, you still drove them away without asking me what to do with them first. I can't believe my own wife would lie to me. It's all because of you that I've ended up this way. I'm so upset because of you. Okay, I feel a little bit bad for lying to you, but they're just such poor people. Look, where are you right now, Tyson? We should talk in person, okay? I'm in a taxi right now, trying to chase down my family's car. It looks like they went all the way back to the house. So I'm not going to come back home today. I can't believe your attitude and how you've treated my family. What am I supposed to do about this? Okay, would you just calm down a little bit, please, and explain this all to me properly? Why are you in such a hurry to get to your parents' house for? Okay, so my father is actually the director of the hospital that I work at. He's absolutely fuming right now over what's happened today. He's a very strict and stubborn person. I'm definitely going to be fired from the hospital now. Huh? Okay, well, hold on a minute. Just rewind a little so I can understand. Why on earth did you keep this a secret for so long? I have various reasons for that, alright? Anyway, you need to reflect on what you did today. I've had it up to here with you. I can't stand you. Wait, what? No, I, I am so confused as to what your father has to do with this. So what, he's stubborn? What's so bad about your father? Okay, Karina, you really need to start communicating with me better. What's going on here? 
Your father is the director of the hospital that Tyson works at or something? How come I didn't know this? Well, well, well. Well, I guess you finally heard the truth about what my family does from Tyson, then? Yes, you're right. Tyson works as a doctor at the hospital that my father directs. No way, really? I literally had no idea that they worked so closely together. I thought that your parents had no job. Well, I guess Tyson kept it all hush-hush due to some strange pride that he's got. We also don't receive any allowance from Tyson either. We all have proper jobs and make our own living, so I don't see how you think Tyson pays us to survive. We can survive on our own. Oh, right. Well, I didn't mean to assume anything. I honestly had no idea that you all had jobs. I just acted like I did because of what Tyson said to me. Well, I guess what happened can't be helped now. Tyson's been lying to quite a few people, then. Yes, he has! It's not right. He's the one who's a parasitic weasel. What is it with him, honestly? This is why I have to be the strong one in the couple. <laughs> yeah, but do you really think I'm going to turn around and say that everything is entirely his fault, Joan? Your mentality of looking down on people because of how little or how much money they have sickens me. You know what? It doesn't just sicken me. It makes me hate you. A lot. I feel like I'm a victim of some kind of deceptive plan you had. But our family is more mad at you than anything else. But I can't help but be that way since Tyson lied to me about your situation. I didn't know that your father was a hospital director. You shouldn't just assume things about people. You should actually ask and make conversation about their situation. You should have been more careful about what you said to me and my family. If you can't think about what you've done wrong, then I can't help you. I think it's about time that you leave that big, luxurious house of yours and go back to your parents' house immediately. Huh? What for? Why should I be the one who has to leave? I didn't do anything wrong. It's not like I was intentionally mean to you. I just didn't know enough about your family. This house is also mine, too. This amazing house is proof that I'm a winner and I'm wealthy. No, it doesn't provide you with anything, Joan. A lot of the money that was invested into that house was from my father. Wait a minute. What did you just say? You're wrong. It was Tyson that invested a lot of money into building this house. Think about it, Joan. Do you really think Tyson had the money to build that house? Do you think a doctor in his 20s has enough money to do something like that? No, I guess he didn't, but that can't be true, can it? I suppose he did need help at some point, but no way did I think it came from your father. Well, one thing's for sure, you didn't pay a single cent for the construction of the house. You're just a housewife, so I guess I understand why you didn't. The next thing I'm about to tell you is a message from my father. You've done nothing but be rude to us, so you need to leave that house right now. No way, I can't just walk out of this house. It's mine as well. You can't just take it from me. Look, I had no idea of the situation. I'm innocent here. You might have pretended that you didn't know what was truly happening, but what you said was downright horrible. Just pack your things and get out of the house immediately. We're not going to tell you again. This family is also cutting ties with you. We don't want you around. You're cutting ties with me? You can't just do that to me. No one's allowed to just abandon someone and leave them basically homeless. I've got rights, you know? Please, just don't be so hasty about your decisions, okay? This has unfolded too quickly. Can't we just talk this out more? If you really want to talk this out more, then you need to talk to Tyson. We don't want to talk to you anymore. I'll leave you to pack. No, wait, Karina! You can't just do this to your own sister-in-law. Please, wait. Come back and talk to me. Um, hey.
Hey, Tyson. You're not actually considering getting a divorce from me, are you? I feel like you've given me no choice but to do that. Don't you get why this is happening? I don't want to be with someone who's so horrible anymore. It's kind of odd that you're doing this, because you're the one that lied to me. Yeah, I felt bad for lying to you. But you treated my family so badly. And I don't want to be married to someone who's going to act like you did. I'm sorry, but we can't be together. You've gone way too far, and you need to learn how to treat people better. But I don't get it. We were doing so well. What am I supposed to do without you now? This isn't fair. I don't have a house to live in or a job to go to. How am I supposed to make a living or have an allowance without you? Can't you just go back to your parents' house? Aren't they wealthy enough to support you until things turn around for you? Don't you get it? My parents won't let me stay at their house anymore. After they learned about what happened with the in-laws and your sister, they're really angry at me. No matter which way you look at it, it's all your fault. You're the one who lied in the first place. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't. What on earth are you saying, woman? It's your fault. I didn't tell you to treat my family like crap. I just didn't disclose their professions. My career is also ruined because of all the things you did to my family. You've made me look so bad in front of my family. Only because you lied so that your pride wouldn't get hurt. Am I right? I thought you said that you were supporting your family and that you invested all of your own money to build the house. You also hid the fact that your father is the director of the hospital you work at. I don't understand why you do that. You're wrong. I didn't hide anything. I just obeyed my father's instructions by not saying anything about him. He said that I've got a lot of learning to do and that I need to gain more experience in my job. So I said nothing to you. Oh, is that right? Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> Does he really think that you're some incompetent doctor that's going to show off and get more attention than him or something? Would you quit it with your snide remarks? He's stubborn, but he's still my father. So shut up, Joan. You need to learn to not talk badly about people. Who do you think you should thank for putting food on the table? Huh, Joan? Are you being serious right now? You were the one that turned around and told me that a man who makes his wife work is a poor man. Shut up. It was a joke and I'm not poor. I just need help because there are a lot of loans when you study to be a doctor. Obviously, you don't understand. I've had enough of this. I don't want to see you ever again, Joan. <laughs> I suppose I'll just wish on that from here. Let's hope that you don't regret this later, okay? I know you wouldn't do this to me, Tyson. Karina, I really need your help. I don't have anyone else to rely on. I want to get back with Tyson. Please help. You know that he broke up with you. I can't possibly help you with that. If this is the worst case scenario, if you were able to reconcile, getting married again is highly unlikely. He blocked you for a few days now, so there's no way that you can get in contact with him now, right? I just said things out of anger. Look, I'm being serious. I want to be with Tyson. Now please help me out. I need to get in contact with him. Why should I help you? We cut you off, remember? Because you treated us like dirt. It would be bad for me to help a terrible person like you. But I've looked back on what I've done. I'll never make those kinds of mistakes again. Please, just forgive me for what I did. Why can't you just get help from your parents? Why are you trying to run back to Tyson or me? 
because my parents are super strict and they aren't talking to me because of how I treated you, but I do feel bad about it now. I've got no job, nowhere to live, and no one I can rely on. You're my last and only hope that I have to get back on my feet. I'll be honest with you, Joan. You brought this on yourself. You're an adult and you should know better than to treat someone badly. Come on, Karina, don't say things like that, please. Just help me out. You can't abandon me in a time of need. Well, you should have thought about what you said before you were going to say it. Then you wouldn't be in this situation right now. If you want help from me, how about you pay me about $10,000? <laughs> that only seems fair. After that debacle, Karina blocked Joan from messaging and cut off all contact from her. Apparently, Joan hit a dead end since she went back to visit her parents. She couldn't get her parents to forgive her. She was forced to live alone and learn the harshness of society. She's currently living day to day at a job she just got. She was able to fully experience poverty that she'd always frowned upon. Let's hope she learns how naive she's been. Tyson was kicked out of his father's hospital. It appears that he's taking a break from being a doctor in order to think about why he lied. He's got a bit of a pretentious side to him. Karina continues to live a healthy and happy life. <laughs>